Hi there. So the last stage of completing the square, we're going to actually use this technique of completing the square to solve a quadratic equation. So far, all we've done is completed the square of a quadratic expression, but now we're going to actually use the technique to solve. Here's a typical question. Solve x squared minus 8x plus 5 equals 0. Do remember, in the normal course, you might try and factorise. If you can't, you could use the quadratic formula. But we've been asked this time to complete the square, so we better how to do it. Firstly, you go about by completing the square. Put your x in brackets, square it. The sign in front of the b, put it inside the brackets. Half the b, so half a, again, put it inside the brackets. Square this number in your head, and you get 16. Subtract that, and add on your number term at the end, your 5. All that's equal to 0. And just tidy up, so you have x minus 4, all squared, uh, minus 11 equals 0. Now, because we don't have x squared and x's and all that going on in the same time, we've just got x minus 4 squared and a number, we can actually solve this in a similar way to how we might solve a linear um, two or three step process. If we, if you imagined this minus 11, if we added 11 to both sides, we would get x minus 4 all squared equals 11. Then if we took square roots, remember when you take square roots you get a plus and a minus, the square root of x minus 4 squared just gives you x minus 4 because square and square root are inverses, opposites of each other. And you get one answer the plus square root of 11 and the other the minus square root of 11. That's x minus 4. You just want x. So you add 4 to both sides to remove the minus 4. x is equal to 4 plus or minus root 11. What that means for clarification is there are two answers. One is 4 plus the square root of 11, and the other is 4 minus the square root of 11. If you use the quadratic formula, you would get exactly the same answer. Let's quickly do example 2. Put your x in brackets, square it. The sine of the b is a plus. Half the b, you get 3. Square the 3 and subtract it. So that would be 3 squared is 9, subtract that, then add on your 3. All that's equal to 0. Tidy up so you get x plus 3 squared. Negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6. That's equal to 0. Now just undo the operations here. Undo that minus 6 by adding 6 to both sides. You get x plus 3 squared equals 6. Now take square roots, remembering you get the plus and the minus. The square root of x plus 3 squared is just x plus 3. And that will give you the positive square root of 6 and the negative square root of 6. Subtract the 3 from both sides. x is equal to negative 3 plus the square root of 6 and minus the square root of 6 are two answers. OK, I'm going to put some questions up. They are as follows. I would like you to solve those quadratic uh, equations by completing the square. You might remember that these uh, questions are the ones we did in the last video where we have already completed the square as follows. So you may want to start originally and recomplete the square and then solve, or just start from this point here and solve onwards because we've already done the completing the square part. I'll pause the video if you want and I'll put the answers up in five seconds. The answers are as follows. So when you're marking your work do check you got these answers. There's two answers for each one. 
do double check you could do those and finally I'm going to finish with an exam question have a look at this grade A star question have a go yourself pause the video have a go for about five minutes and I'll go through the answer in five seconds from now so the question asked us to find A and B so that x squared plus 6x minus 3 is equal to x plus A all squared plus B. Really what the question is asking us in disguise is to complete the square. It's simply asking that in a roundabout way. OK, let's do it. Put your x in brackets with a square outside. The sine of the b is a plus, so put a plus. Halve the b, so you get 3. Square the b in your head, the new b, and subtract it. And add in, or take into account, the number term that was left, which is minus 3. Tidy up by combining the numbers at the end. You should get x plus 3 all squared minus 9 minus another 3 is minus 12. What's our a? Well, we've got x plus 3, so x plus a, a must equal 3. We wanted a plus b, but we've got uh, a minus 12, so b must be minus 12. The question then said, hence or otherwise solve this equation. Hence is a word that means using what we've just talked about. Otherwise means you can use another method. I'll show you the hence way, but the otherwise way meant use the quadratic formula because it says your answers are going to be thirds, so you know you couldn't factorise, you had to use the formula or complete the square. Now, hence means using above. What have we done above that could help us? Well, if we're solving x squared plus 6x minus 3 equals 0, and we've just shown that x squared plus 6x minus 3 is equal to this in the completed square form, instead of solving x squared plus 6x minus 3 is 0, I could solve the completed the square version, i.e. x plus 3 all squared minus 12 equals 0. This is what I've been doing in the last exercise. If I add 12 to both sides, I get x plus 3 all squared is equal to 12. If I take square roots, getting a plus and a minus, the square root of x plus 3 all squared just gives me x plus 3. The square root of 12, well I'm going to get a plus and a minus the square root of 12. So therefore, lastly, subtracting 3, I get x is minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 12. Your first x therefore is minus 3 plus the square root of 12. Your second x is x is minus 3 subtract the square root of 12. There is the answer to this grade A star exam question. Thank you for watching my video.